I'm Austin Hansen, and you're tuned in to the 11th edition of the Tiger Highline Online. Here's a story about spring break mission trips by Lisa, Christina, and Emily. As time ticks down and the months fly by, spring mission trips for local churches are coming up quickly and are events that several students at Cedar Falls High School are looking forward to. This year, a mission trip organized by the Orchard Hill Church will be going to Nuevo Progreso, Mexico, and will cost $400. The head of this particular group is Tim Walson. Going over spring break 2012, I think we leave Friday night, March 9th, and we'll be back the following Friday. And so one of the things we do is we collect clothes here, and we collect fundraising for us to be able to buy rice and beans. We load up a huge trailer and take clothes and bikes and the rice and beans down, and we spend a whole day distributing those around the town. Um, there's all the information online, and you can actually sign up online as well at uh, cedarvalleystudents.org. There are many more mission trips later in the year organized by churches throughout the Cedar Valley. Many have found these to be very moving and eye-opening experiences. Chantel Danielson, a sophomore, recently went on a mission trip. We kind of learned about the homeless population and we defied the stereotypes that we had in our mind and it was replaced with the relationships that we, that we made with these people and we kind of learned how these people are really like and not just what we had in our head. This is Emily Peck, Christina Brammer, and Lisa Morales reporting for the Tiger Highline Online. Here's a story about the Cedar Falls High School Jazz Band. The story is by me and Austin Hansen. The Hudson Auditorium was filled with jazz fans last Saturday as high school jazz bands from around the state came to compete against one another. Competing in the contest were both Cedar Falls Jazz Bands 1 and 2. I think for for both bands, I, th I thought all the kids played really well. It was good performances from both groups. It was nice when it all kind of uh, came together at the right time. In the contest, uh, we see all the bands, and it's really uh, a lot of pressure for us to perform well and to show the other bands that we're really good. And sometimes we see other bands and what they do, and can we learn from other bands? There's a lot more pressure in a contest because you're getting judged by three judges, and then you see them. Looking at you and writing notes down so you never really know what they're going to say. Despite shortened practice times, both Cedar Falls bands came out of the contest with a Division I rating from all three judges. You know, for, for the second band that I direct, I was, I was really happy that it all came together. Um, we've, we've had a different rehearsal schedule this year uh, with the, the different requirements now for early bird PE and health. I wasn't able to start up doing our 7 a.m. rehearsals until second semester. Oh, we played very well. I thought our tone and our solos were great, and I give it to all the sections. I thought we did a great job. We were playing some things right today that we never played right before, so. All well, these last two weeks, we really stepped it up with our practicing and made sure that we nailed everything because we were sh cut short on time, so we really pulled it together. The hard work doesn't stop here, as preparation for state contests in Des Moines begins right away. This has been Austin Hansen and Austin Schaub reporting for the Tiger Highline Online. There are many new classes available here at the high school for you to check out. Here's the story by Andy, Joey, Clint, and Drew. The school year already into the second semester. It's time for the counselors at Cedar Falls High School to begin preparing new classes for next year. From science to business to engineering, counselor Mr. Carnelli speaks about new classes coming to Cedar Falls High School. So for next year here at Cedar Falls High School, we're looking at incorporating some new classes here. Uh, for science, for example, they're looking at taking out astronomy and meteorology and also geology. Um, the two classes they're going to add back in next year are going to be Earth Science, which will be one semester class, which will include some of that astronomy and meteorology, but also incorporate some more Earth Science topics as well too, um, along with integrated science which is really going to be kind of a new age science. Um, they're really starting that class from the ground up and what they're going out and looking for is what are, what are topics, concepts that students really need to know about science today um, that will help them in multiple fields once they leave in high school. Um, so that's really going to be kind of a groundbreaking course for our science classroom settings. 
Uh, so we're really looking forward to that and see what they're going to bring into that. A couple of the other new classes that they're bringing into the high school this year, one is going to be the sports marketing class. Um, that will be up in the business wing. Um, I think they're talking about advertising and sports marketing. Um, I don't know too much about that course yet, um, but the business department is really excited about that. And obviously with a topic like sports marketing, I'm assuming they're going to get a lot of different students interested in that as well too. This has been Joey Dobson reporting for the Tiger Highline online. It's that time again where you log off your computer or search other things on YouTube, maybe check your Twitter, Facebook. But we hope you join us again next week here at the Tiger Highline. Have a great day.